I am Top Fern Park Realtor Scott Garrison with Remax Town and Country, and we're out at the entrance to Ashwood Condominiums here in Fern Park, Florida. The purpose of this video is to give you a feel for the community, and we'll take you inside one of the units as well. That's a community pool right there. We've got a little gate. We're gonna walk around the outside and the inside. So this whole community is oriented around uh, inward, all the units face inward, uh, their back porch, really nice in spaces with all the parking around the edge of it. And I'll give you a little feel for what that looks like here. So why am I making this video? Well, for 34 years, every day, full time, day in and day out, I've been listing and selling homes here in Fern Park. Went to Winter Park High School, right around the corner, University of Central Florida, right around the other corner, before that. That is good looking, right there. So obviously I'm highly committed to the area. I like Ashwood condos so much that I've helped several people buy in here several people sell in here and I own one myself so a lot of times people are looking for a realtor who is committed to the area is experienced who loves the neighborhood so much they put their money where their mouth is and so for instance this is building H they all have letters uh, this little street is a thousand Lake of the Woods Boulevard. It goes all the way around in a big circle, which we'll do. And then the units are building, like that's H106, for instance. So it's one way, so you come in and you go the one way, all the way around, and out the other way. HOA here is pretty reasonable. $298 a month. You know, I talk with a lot of investors who say, I don't want a $298 a month. And I says, here's what you want instead. Let's buy one where you're responsible for the roof and the outside. And the HOA is going to be so poorly managed that it'll affect your property value. And every once in a while, you're going to put a roof on, a tree will fall on the place, take care of the outside. And that'll cost you on an amortized basis way more than $298 a month. That's actually a deal. $298, if you live here, does include the water bill as well. We've got pool and laundromats. Now, a long time ago, a long time ago, this was an apartment conversion. And when it was built, there was no washer and dryer units in the units. So most of these have no washer and dryer. A few of them have been modified where they put a washer and dryer on the back porch, which is not always the best idea. But some of them have that, and some of them have put little small stackables inside one of the closets. But most of the time, you're gonna end up going to the community wash machine and dryers. This is a nice area, good demographics, really good location near 1792. 436 in the heart of Fern Park, just a few minutes from the uh, Altamont Mall, maybe eight or nine minutes from the Altamont Mall, eight or nine minutes from Maitland Exchange, Maitland Center, I-4, and then from there you can get downtown pretty quick. People love this location, lots of shopping nearby as well. We will go to the pool in a minute, doing the outside first. They recently changed all the mailboxes. They used to be inside the unit. Now they are right out here. So you can park there, get your mail. There is an on-site maintenance office, not for the inside units, but for the community as well. We're going to come back here in just a minute. 
to the C103, which is the next one. This lower one is one that we have access to here. I'll take you inside and show you that at the end. They recently upgraded the landscaping substantially as well. So we we're back to the HOA and why you want to pay the HOA. Well, it includes the water, but if you're renting, that's not a huge benefit to you as a property manager, is if you buy this and live here. But I'll tell you, these have been here since the 70s. They're hurricane proof. We've had hurricanes and storms. I don't even need, need to drive by and look at this place. If anything happens to the exterior, the maintenance is going to fix it. Nothing could happen to the exterior. The place is just about bomb proof. And that's the kind of investment that people want. It's something they don't have to worry about. They don't have to fix things. But the most expensive thing you're going to have to do ever if you own these is replace the AC once every 10 or 15 years. And maybe once some of these have new windows and some of them don't. It doesn't really make a big difference to the value if they do or they don't. I did change out the windows on mine. But that's more aesthetic if anything else. So let's see, there's advantages and disadvantages. Uh, we do have a you know, property manager. And one of the disadvantages is if you're renting, you approve the attendance, of course, through your property manager yourself. But then the board, the condo association, also charges $50 to approve your tenant. I have the tenants pay that, of course. Coming back to the front gate here, and then we'll walk around the inside. But they can take up to 20 days to do that. I've had times where they've taken 20 days. I've had times where they've taken three days. So maybe it just depends. But that can slow down the re-renting process a bit. The other challenge is in here is that these are difficult to finance. In theory, it's possible with a conventional loan. But when you go to finance with a conventional loan, remember I am a realtor, they'll send the condo a condo questionnaire. And one of the questions of the condo questionnaire is what is the percentage of owner occupied versus tenants? And if the tenant percentage is too high, you cannot get financing. There's the exit right there. And I would say you're going to pay cash. I bought mine cash. Most people buy cash. I've sold several in here, every single one sold to a cash buyer. Part of the interesting setup is you'll see that the ACs are on the roof. It does make it really quiet, especially in the summer. A little bit of a drag, so you have to get a special AC company who's comfortable getting a ladder and schlepping that unit up to the roof. That's what I had to do, get someone to do that. But it does make it really nice because otherwise they'd be running here and we'd hear nothing but AC units. So we're coming up to the pool. The pool area is pretty nice, so especially if you own this cash, you'll find that you like this. Let's go on inside. Okay, here we are at the community pool. And the way these are built, community pool is at best 100 feet away, and at worst, right next door. Nice sunny clear day here. You can see the pool's well kept. We have community bathrooms. And we have the community washer and dryer. It's right here. Being used as we speak. And again, this is just a few steps from your back porch. No matter where you live in here. It's not air conditioned, but the windows open and the breeze with the fans. It's pretty cool in here, even on a hot Florida day. 
All right, we're gonna go check out that area. Last, we're gonna do the inside here as well. Okay, now we're in the inside courtyard where everything faces. So if you get a rent here, you're near the hospital, all the exchange, just all the major arteries. If you're buying in here, because these don't have the washer and dryer, these are the most affordable units within 15 miles, within a long, long, long ways. Really nice units too. So they're affordable, they cash flow good. And if you're looking to rent, you find you're really happy facing in on this green space all of the time. And if you're renting, you're probably going to be renting on the lower end as well, as opposed to where people rent. Okay, we just went in that gate there in the center. Now we're in the other courtyard. So it's affordable to buy, for sure. Affordable to rent, nice living, good location. Everyone talks about location. What well, people don't always want to talk about is you want to be on the lower end of all the other homes. That's usually where you're going to do the best for appreciation as well. You can see the landscaping, grass, the trees. It's a lot what people are looking for. All right, so right here is one of the units. Everyone says, well, I'd like to see inside. Well, let's complete our tour, get a chance to see inside. So this is someone's back porch right here. nice and then we go in this particular unit's two bedrooms one bath there's a few two twos most of them are two bedrooms These cabinets were just redone. These are the original cabinets. Most of them are original cabinets in here. Got a little pass-through right over there. Of course, dishwasher, disposal. All got a pantry. And almost all these floor plans are the same, it's just different. You know, some are reversed. Some of them have different flooring. And many of them are in much different condition. All right, we're in the second bedroom here. They repiped, replumbed, I don't know, about 10 years ago. And that was paid by the association. Got the doesn't look too pretty, but that's new. That's brand new, that was just put in today. Hot water heater. And your electric bills are obviously pretty good. Just keeping this small place clean. Nice view right there. And then the bathrooms are all in different levels of repair. This one's been renovated. Right there. And 
And then we go out the front where we walked around before. So if you're even thinking about buying or renting here in Ashwood on Lake of the Woods Boulevard, I want you to call me, Top Orlando Realtor Scott Garrison with Remax Town & Country. I have the inside scoop here frequently on properties. I can get you into one sometime before it even comes on the market. My information is attached to this video. Thanks.